Hi, my name is Sahima Manzor Khan and every week during Islamophobia Awareness Month 2019 I'll be releasing a different unboxing video to get to grips with one of the most talked about and least understood oppressions of our time, Islamophobia. This week we're starting off with the obvious, the term itself, Islamophobia. Now, this is a pretty confusing term to a lot of people, and the first thing you'll find inside is a ton of red herrings, misleading assertions that lead us to the wrong conclusions. The first of these is the idea that Islamophobia is a term made up to stop critique of Islam. Now, that's funny because there is probably no religion more critiqued than Islam, not to mention that Muslims are historically the biggest critiquers and questioners of Islamic theology, with thousands of scholars and schools of thought disagreeing with one another over time. Asking questions about theology is inherent to Islamic tradition, and also to a society which values freedom of speech. So acknowledging the oppression of Muslims has nothing to do with ending theological debate. Now, the second major red herring is the assertion that Muslims aren't a race, so you can't be racist to Muslims. The thing is, nothing is a race until you make it one. Black people didn't mean anything until the past 400 years or so when European thinkers began to sketch out an understanding of racial difference. Although people throughout history have differentiated themselves and discriminated on that basis, what changed in modern history is that these thinkers connected physical traits to inherent ways that people were, e.g. people with the traits we call black are not human, placing them in a hierarchy to justify colonization and slavery. The reason we can say Islamophobia is a form of racism is that Muslims are imagined as a race, as a group of people with shared characteristics that are connected to their way of being. So we assume people are Muslim when they have beards, wear headscarves, eat certain foods, speak certain languages, or have certain names. We've made Muslim into a race, despite the fact that anyone of any ethnicity or nationality can be Muslim. But in the same way that racism means society thinks of black people as inferior, today we think of those we see as Muslim as dangerous and uncivilized. This is racism rooted in colonization, which saw Muslim people as uncivilized and violent to justify itself. Today, Muslims and those assumed to be are treated as similarly dangerous and uncivilized in the media, in hospitals, schools, public spaces, airports, etc. This systematic discrimination is racism rooted in colonialism. Oh, and there's another red herring. The term is often used to describe hate crimes or personal prejudice. So someone shouting terrorist or ripping off a woman's hijab or leaving a pig outside the mosque is Islamophobic. And sure, these are acts of violence against Muslims that should not be taken lightly, but focus on these individual moments highlights the symptoms, not causes of Islamophobia. Islamophobia is not just a phobia or a prejudice, it is rooted in constructions of race which justified colonization and it is the systematic understanding that all Muslims, or those we assume to be Muslim, are potentially dangerous, backwards and suspicious, which is enshrined in policy, media and governance. So join me next week when we unbox the systemic dehumanization of Muslims through counter-terror logic.